Good morning, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford getting you an update on this Tuesday, July 5th, getting into this work week and thankfully there is nothing happening as far as any potential development in the tropics. So this is one nice week in July where we're just going to get to kind of watch what's happening and not think about something actually, you know, being threatening across the Atlantic Basin. When we look at our tropical outlook, there's not much happening in the Caribbean or in the Gulf or really out in the Atlantic Ocean either. But as we look at what is happening, really what we've been tracking is Bonnie, not in the Atlantic Basin. It was very briefly in the Caribbean Sea, but it crossed over Central America. It's now a category two storm in the eastern Pacific. So it's heading out to sea. And the only reason we're really talking about Bonnie, we normally don't cover very closely eastern Pacific storm since we're concerned more with the Atlantic Basin where we are. But we are watching Bonnie just because it crossed over. That hasn't happened since 2016 with Otto. So not many storms do that move, but Bonnie did. So Bonnie is done. Otherwise, as I was mentioning, out in the rest of the Atlantic, uh, you can see some cloudiness and some low pressure off the coast of Africa here, but not looking like it's it's going to develop at this point. This is very common to see and uh, really the National Hurricane Center will only highlight certain of those waves coming off of Africa. So not expecting anything to really get going or get organized this week. Tracking quickly with our hurricane season names. We have made it through three names now at this point in July. We made it through Bonnie and also Colin, which formed up really fast over the weekend and then dissipated really fast. It was never very organized, brought some rain to the Carolinas and then it was gone. So um, you could have easily just not paid attention to the tropics for like a day and missed Colin. But Colin's done now. The next name on the list would be Danielle. Earl, Fiona and Gaston would be next, but we don't have those really at this point. Nothing looking like it's going to become any of those this week. At least our season outlook, of course, is for 19 to 25 named storms. That's the forecast from NOAA. We've had three so far this year for named storms. Last year at this time, we had had five and one hurricane. We had made it to Elsa. Last year, we then had a big lull, if you remember, till the middle of August. So we'll see what happens with our July this year. When we look, by the way, at tropical activity and the frequency as we move through the hurricane season, we are now at this point on July 5th, about 18, 19% finished with the season. So we are moving through it, but we still have to wait for that big tropical increase, of course, that comes during the month of August and into early September. The peak day of the season is August 10th for the Atlantic Basin. So we do have all that to come, but again, kind of nice to move into this week after the 4th of July and just know that there's nothing really brewing at this point in the Atlantic. We'll keep you updated though through the rest of the week if we see anything on the horizon. For now, we'll uh, say goodbye. It is again July 5th, the morning on Tuesday. Hope you guys have a good week and we'll keep you updated on WWLTV.com, on our app, or on our social media. And you can also, of course, watch us on Eyewitness News.